episode of Kaberi's Indian Cooking. As you probably know, I am a dancer, but even dancers have to eat. If you have eaten at an Indian restaurant outside the Indian subcontinent, you may think Indian food always comes with a rich, heavy sauce. In reality, it doesn't. In this series, I will be showing you how to cook healthy Indian food using ingredients which you should be able to find anywhere in the world. I'll also focus on recipes which don't take long to prepare. I thought I'd start the series with some of Obi's favorite dishes. So I'll be preparing okra or lady's fingers, marrow, yellow lentils, and a prawn curry, as well as a Bengali dessert known as Chana Paish. In this episode, I'm joined by our friends Yel, yep. Natalie, Judy and Martin. Hello. First, I'm going to do the dessert because it has to be chilled. Mm, chana Paish. Chana means uh, the milk solid and uh, Paish is like pudding. First, I'm going to put this milk. I prefer the organic one. While waiting for the meal to boil, cut the lime That's into three wedges. It's very good because I quite often squeeze limes into drinks. Mm -hmm. And I'm always breaking my fingers trying to no. get the juice No, what, what it's you a very should do, what, 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 oh, what really you funny. should do, hold this like yeah. this, and you, you can do okay. that. And hold the lime and the juice comes out. Comes out. Fantastic. You have to be careful because sometimes it, if it is too hot, then it uh, um, it get uh, burned. Cream. Okay. Well, uh, this this is uh, the milk is boiling. Uh, I can cut the um, uh, marrow because next time I'm doing this, so you don't have to uh, waste our time. But be careful with that. Cut the ends. Okay. More you can find in the African shop and Bangladeshi or Pakistani, wherever. But sometimes my in, in supermarket I find sometimes, but it's not very often. You have to peel. Yeah, the skin. you have, you have okay. to peel. peel. And actually, it's uh, very healthy because northeast uh, part of uh, India, the Monipuri people, they use very often for the fever. They just boiled it with uh, a little bit of sugar, and it's a uh, kind of medicine. Okay. Yeah, and it's very healthy. Do you want me to stir the milk? Please. It's coming. So I'll put the lime juice. That was that. such a clever way of squeezing the lime. Once the milk curdles, pour out the contents of the pan into a fine sieve. Add some cold water on top to pull it down. Then leave it to stand over cold water. While the curdled milk dries out, finish cutting the marrow. Does marrow need to be cut quite thinly? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. And you're cooking for a group of six people tonight. Mm -hmm. So, in general, two marrows. 
if you can enough. Uh, yeah enough but if, if you can find the big one uh, so like like, like this yeah, okay. so it, it's fine and I, I didn't find the big one so I came with it like you can grate it but normally you can um, grate under the like this you can grate it in the the, big, the bigger one bigger yeah. but I prefer this Once the cardinal milk has dried out, finish making the pie. Okay, I'll put sugar. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. Oh, I prefer not too sweet, so I didn't put too much. Maybe 60 grams. Mm -hmm. And I'll put some cardamom in it. All cardamom. And put the pistachio. to wait a little bit because the, the this pistachio and the reason it becomes soft simmer for around five minutes we'll keep some put some saffron in it. Yeah. Do you usually use or do you usually prefer powdered saffron? Yeah. It's easy. Easy to get the flavor and uh, the, the, well, I can use the Indian one. I have those but uh, you know for the time it's much easier so that's why I am using this powder saffron which I found in the supermarket see the raisins and it's more getting getting bigger. Add the cardinal milk to the pan.
then you can you can add the Down a little bit, then it goes to the fridge. What the okra? Cut to the ends. The difficult thing with ladies' fingers <coughs> is they get sticky. There's this yeah. glue yeah. that comes out. Yeah. Like you that. have to wash before, not after cutting. Okay. Now we we'll go for the marrow and the marrow so it's extra virgin olive oil put that much of cumin seed yeah. and one small bay leaf We use more our hand always. You add a little bit of salt. Not too much. Okay. Sugar, because it's more really? like uh, sweet, not too thin. Four spoon sugar. Stir it. Okay, I'll, I'll add some uh, coconut. Huh? Ah, coconut. Yeah, you can mix. Coconut gives the taste. Milk. You can use water instead of milk if you prefer. Cover the pan and bring it to the boil, starting occasionally. It now needs to cook for 5 to 10 minutes. Use the time to soak the frozen prawns and chop 1 and half onions for the okra. Okay, now it's done. 